Hey everybody, welcome back to The Basement. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about Trainapalooza 2023. Now, what is Trainapalooza? That's a question sometimes we get. Trainapalooza is an event that was created by my buddy Jason, JD Stucks, and it's essentially an opportunity for a lot of hobbyists to come together. Trainapalooza started back in 2021. Jason held an event and invited a bunch of friends that he had over to his house. And the following year, it expanded to including the Detroit Three Railers modular layout. And the entire club came over and a bunch of friends uh, from across the country that have been talking and, and connecting for a long time, getting together at York, came together. So it was really a group of people that have been, have known one another. We're able to finally just kind of descend on Detroit. For 2023, Greg and Dan Browning, Dan is Train Man Dan on YouTube, have decided to, they asked Jason if they could host the event. So Jason's like, sure, why not? So this year, the main event was held at the Browning's house. The modular layout was set up in their driveway under a tent because of some rain. And then when the rain stopped, we were able to set up Mark, who's one of the Detroit three railers as well. He has a standard gauge modular layout that's usually in their clubhouse. He was able to set that up. So we have some standard gauge action too. And that is a really, really cool classic style standard gauge layout. So I've got only like one clip of that in the video that you're gonna see, but it's really, really neat. So this video is gonna be filmed like my other Train of Palooza videos, sort of in a vlog style. So we go from BWI to Jason's, and then the first day we are gonna go visit one of the Detroit Three Rollers layouts. This year we have to go visit Joe Deludes layout. Joe Deludes, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He and I connected two years ago at Jason's house and, and really connect at York every time he's able to come out or whenever I'm able to go to Detroit. I usually find myself next to Joe just catching up or talking, talking shop, talking trains, all sorts of different fun things. So I really appreciated the opportunity to go visit Joe's layout. So let's go ahead and get this party started by going, starting off here at BWI. Enjoy. So I meet RJ here at BWI. We are going to jump on a late flight to Detroit. One of the only direct flights to Detroit is really late at night. So we fly from about 10, 30 or so. The flight was delayed. Uh, we landed, it was a two hour flight, which should only take a little bit over an hour. We landed around 1 a.m. You can give an update what we've been up to. Oh yeah, so all right, so we're here in Detroit. Hello. It is currently 1.05 a.m. Because, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, our flight was delayed and then it's usually like 68 minutes in the air and it was like like almost two hours. Two hours. Yeah, like, I, and both of us finished two hour movies, two hour movies. on a 70 minute flight. Which Ridiculous. Tells you all you need to know. It was bumpy. Also, they didn't have any drink service, which is why you fly Southwest. Yeah. So, terrible. We survived. That's the important yeah. part. And I know Jason and Sam are have been waiting in the cell phone lot for an hour and a half, but that's better than being in turbulence in the air. Yeah. I mean, it was it was scary. Yeah. We also got a good live stream in. We did. We did have a great live stream on RJ's channel, so check that out. But we are going to find our way to them and probably just go to sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Yo, where are you guys? Come flash flashes flash the flash, flash, flash your brakes. There he is! There go. Got him! <laughs> Hi, Jason. You're late. <laughs> okay. Yes! And, and they're gone. Okay. There were some gaps in the vlog. So, <laughs> all right, so we're, it is now Friday. Friday. Friday, and uh, we are in our car service. We're gonna get some breakfast and then we're heading over to one of the Detroit three railers layouts this morning. Um, good buddy, Joe Deleuze layout is awesome. I've seen some pictures. Joe showed me his track plan like two years ago when I met him. Um, Joe's been out to my layout a few times. I'm super pumped to be able to see his space. And so we're gonna head there after our driver takes us to breakfast. Five star breakfast place we're going to. Yeah, Only the best. Yeah, they're, they have arches that are made of gold, I hear. Yeah things you do when you're on a tight schedule. So we're gonna go check out Joe's layout after breakfast, hit up a hobby shop. Uh, we got a lot of stuff we have to do today. We have to go make a Costco run. Costco, if you wanna sponsor this video, my email's in the uh, in my uh, account information, so that'd be pretty sweet. Get some sponsorship from Costco. Kirkland Brand. Yeah, it's like looking really good. I 
And then we were able to go to Joe Delude's layout. And as I said, Joe Delude's a fantastic person. He has had the plan for his layout for years. I think he showed it to me back in 2021. And he's just been able to begin working on it, I think, within the last year or so. So the space is really unique. It's kind of a, an L shape where it actually goes down about, I would say, maybe 50 feet down the one side. And then it does kind of a big L. There's two main loops that go around the entire layout. He's got a transfer table set up as well. And it's actually functional where, where the, the engines come out of the transfer table, there's a Y that he can turn around double-headed big diesel locomotives. So it's really a functional space where he can even just spin those around and get them out to the main line. And he can do all that turning around without disrupting the main line. He doesn't foul that at all within the setup. One of the really neat things about Joe's layout is his way that he's uses some building flats that aren't building flats. So you'll see his cat plant as well as some other uh, buildings that kind of just are really, really big. Those are actually Menard's buildings that he's cut in half and then turned into bigger building flats. I'm absolutely shamelessly stealing this idea for the spine behind me up here that I just haven't been able to finish because I think the Menard's buildings, first of all, are a great deal. And it's such an awesome idea that because not many people do that and I don't think it'll be too hard. So I, I plan on connecting with Joe and getting some plans and ideas for how he did that. Let's go ahead and watch some of Joe's layout.
so much for the opportunity to see your layout and take some time out of your busy Friday. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I can come back soon and see some of the more work that you've done. And maybe I'll have some, some passenger cars for you and maybe I'll have to pick something up from you at some point here soon as well, Joe. I appreciate it. After Joe's, we had a, kind of a, a pre-Trainapalooza event at Jason's house. So people that were kind of coming in on Friday had the opportunity to swing into Jason's and check out his layout as well. So RJ, Sam, and I had to go to a Costco run and get some things ready to go. That's kind of part of the deal of coming in early is we are kind of Jason's right-hand men for getting things ready to go for, for the event. So we went out, went shopping, got some supplies, and then had a bunch of people come over. It was great. A bunch of the Detroit three-wheeler guys came over, so it was great to kind of see them at a smaller event before the big event on Saturday. We were able to have um, some of our other our other buddies from around the country, some of the Long Island friends, Maddie C and Steven were able to come in. Um, O'Gage Greg flew in a little bit later that evening. Tony, the Rambles, and Eric Trainman, they were a little delayed, but they were able to make it in as well. My buddy Chris, who's local to me here in Lancaster, he was able to come out early and just spend some time with us and, and see Jason's layout. Jason's done a fantastic job working on his layout. The mountain has really come along. It's completely changed the dynamic because those trains are finally disappearing within the main loop of of the layout so I'm I'm really excited for the second mountain of his to go in he will talk about that in some layout updates that he has coming up so let's go ahead and check out that evening at Jason's house all right so we went to the hobby shop today that'll be a hobby shop hop episode of Great Lakes Hobbies after we went to Joe's layout that's Joe Delude he's one of the Detroit three railers that layout as you saw is awesome uh, I don't really have this the full dimensions but it's I would say it's at least 50 feet long in that one section and then comes around you've got some operating switching uh, switching operations that could take place you've got the transfer table really cool stuff happening we're back at Jason's now it's a little after 12 o'clock we've got to get the layout cleaned up he's been doing all this mountain work that you'll see in some updates that are coming out but because of all the mountain work he hasn't run trains in a while because he's got the bridges out right now there's probably some spider web glue from hot glue so he's got to get that all vacuumed up so we're just going to get the house cleaned up for people come over tonight to his place and then tomorrow is the train of palooza at the browning's house so we got some work to do he's going to be working on cleaning the layout and getting it running odds are sam and i and maybe rj are going to run out to costco we've got to get some supplies for tonight so that's the plan so, catch you next time So it takes lots of work to get layouts in operating condition for having a lot of people over and trains running all the time. And Jason is currently working on re-leveling these bridges, which he just put back up. They were down as he was working on the mountain. And so they're a little off level wise over there. And so we're working on getting that nice and perfect so we can have some flawless running sessions later today. see if, if Jason has a problem see what's hiding underneath 
this here. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Here's Sam got this nice die cast nickel plate road hopper today at Great Lakes Hobbies. What's in the hutch? Um, it doesn't matter because you got this gigantic silo moving for the day. Chalk full yeah. of rotary gondolas. Yeah. And, and 18 inches high, 48 inches long of coal gondolas. Send help. Chris, anybody, Chris? I fly this road. Why I bought it in the first place. So, can I help Jason at all? Okay. great things about train flus is meeting new people so i talk a lot about the people that i've already met but some of these people i haven't met but other people that are from detroit have um and, and sometimes we're able to connect with other people online throughout the year kind of get to know who they are and then they get invited out as well one of those people would be peachy's trains and her husband zach so they put together a youtube channel over the past few months that's really taken off and really connected with an audience and so it was really cool to meet them uh the really down-to-earth people uh, so it was, it was awesome getting to meet them talk trains with them and and try to convince them to come out to your work in the fall so um you know they'll have some content that actually just came out on sunday night i think so be sure to check out their vlog on their take from their train of palooza trip as well. but on saturday we got the main event so we woke up got some breakfast hung out a little bit and then we headed over to the browning's house so greg and daniel thank you so much for hosting this event i understand that it's a huge lift after hosting a couple york events um and i know that it's not just you guys i know that you guys obviously put it on but i know the detroit three railer group in general supports this whole event and so to all the d3 rail guys thank you so much for all of your work to make this event a thing it's always a pleasure to talk with all of you george um you know norm joe charlie um, and that's just to name a few um, there's so many more of you guys that that are just great guys to to talk with and, and catch up with and, and see your collections because they're always amazing um dave smith you know you and i always like whenever i see you, i get a big smile on my face it's so much fun to just hang out and talk trains and see what else you've got up your sleeve for the the next catalog or or something that you bought over the last year that you're showing off at train of palooza so let's go ahead and check out some of the things at train of palooza during this video you're going to see me going into the basement to the Browning's actual layout, and then we come back out to the garage to the modular layout. We kind of go back and forth because people are putting different trains on those layouts and try to get some video of all of those things. During that time, you know, we're eating, there's burgers and hot dogs and cake and ice cream and just socializing and connecting and networking, which is really, really great. And, um, you know, during this event, I was finally able to talk a little bit more with Zach, Country Bunker's trains. Uh, Country Bunker was at Jason's the night before, but we didn't really get to connect too much because there were so many other things happening. So it was nice just to connect with Zach and talk a little bit more since he made the trek up from Florida. So that was really cool as well, Zach. It's good to see you, but hopefully we can get you to come up to York in October instead of waiting for April again. But we'll just have to wait and see. So let's go ahead and check out some of the great trains here at Train of Police. <laughs> Are 
All right, guys, so we're here at the Browning's house for the official Train of Palooza event. So there's a bunch of people here. They got a tent set up outside because it's raining. They got the, the layout set up in the driveway, and then they got lots of food, so people are eating right now. But so down in their, their layout, they've got this awesome layout that goes through the wall here. And so it's two different sides. There's a bunch of trains for sale. So it's uh, just kind of sitting back, watching the trains run, and, and meeting some new people, which is always a great time about these events. It's always more about the social aspect. That's why we call it a meet. Um, you just meet new people and uh, just enjoy the hobby together. So I'll get some videos of different trains running hopefully uh, that you'll see here next and I hope you can sit back relax and Chris, you happy with those?
And then coming home from Detroit's tough because again, there's only like two direct flights a day. One's at 5 p.m. The other one, unfortunately, is at 5.40 a.m. And so, you know, one of the, the things about going away for a couple of days from the family is getting home early on Sunday. So I always take the 5.40 flight home. That means I have to get a car service from Jason's at 3.15 in the morning. And then that puts me at my door in Lancaster at 9 a.m. So I am home for the full day, but I am exhausted. So RBP, 
RJ and I got that car service. We flew home. We were actually early coming into VWI, which was nice. And, uh, and so that wrapped up our trip. So thank you all so much for making the, it this far. Thanks again to the Brownings. I don't have to thank you many times, but I really can't thank all of you enough. Thank you, Jason, for creating this event. And, and I look forward to it again next year. My buddy Chris and I are talking about how can we do something similar here. Uh, but I know a lot, of, a lot of the hobbyists come here for York. So maybe we'll try to do something around that point that makes that York get together even bigger here, a, a biannual train of Palooza here in Pennsylvania. We'll just have to wait and see. But thank you all so much for watching this. Leave me a comment. What was the favorite engine that you saw in this video? And to, to all the buddies that I was able to see and hang out with, it's always been, it's always fun and it makes the hobby just so much better to, to connect on a, a personal level and, and just continue to grow our friendships and trust with one another. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone out there. And I look forward to meeting more of you in the future and, and maybe we'll have be able to expand this event as time goes on. But thanks for watching guys. This is Chris from Chris's Trains and Things. Have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one.